was knocked down into losers by Rich Mister himself, and will have to reset the bracket by winning the first best of three if Glee indeed wants to win. Anyway, things are getting underway now. Here we go, the grand final of the Dalla just really wants to practice commentary, so let's have a fun tournament on a random Saturday. Fun tournament, tournament of fun. And Rich is bringing out that Misango again with his fun chuck and with his pecky pecky bird. And with Gleeface, we see Helix going straight in with that double toaster, trying to deny the power of that light arm. It's a very descriptive tournament title, and very good. Both players very tightly matched, but Rich, with Misango, able to use that yellow spirit to make his rush even better. Because why not? That fun chuck is, has helped Rich deny many flurries during the course of this tournament. However, Glee is just putting Helix to work in avoiding all of Rich's pressure with that big, big schloopy body of his. Unfortunately, it's not enough to ignore that. So are we going to see any change from either player. It looks like Glee... Ah, Glee! For the first time this tournament, Glee has actually chosen to do a different right arm and a different left arm, choosing the fun chuck for his left and the slapper for his right. Let's swap to Richmeister and see how he fares against this. Rich's Scully, despite being a light arm, has been incredibly effective. That's right, I looked up the name. It's just been very effective for him in just finding little bits of damage here and there. Glee is clearly uh, swapped to that fun chuck just to try and answer the fun chuck of Rich. Um, whilst also just trying to use the slap just to get around him. Um, but unfortunately, that Scully is so good and so fast at just being in Helix's face. It has turned out to be Rich's sort of secret weapon um, against the Helix that has caused so many other competitors so much trouble. It's just been able. It's just able to right in and just jab Helix uh, whenever Helix tries to do anything and that indeed is what has happened and that leads to Rich taking the first game in this grand final so the question is will we see any change from Glee Will he stick with Helix? No. Indeed, we have gone for Springman. Springman with a basic arm um, setup. Rich seems to be sticking with the Funchuck Scully against Springman with a Toaster Boomerang setup. Again, Glee, with that toaster, clearly wants to try and punish the Scully, but unfortunately Scully is just so fast that we just see Rich constantly managing to jab it in and find cheeky little bits of damage, and he's so careful with its use that he always seems to be um, you know, only ever throwing the fun chuck out when it's absolutely necessary. You know, um, you know, if Glee counters the Scully, that's when the fun chuck comes out to respond in turn. And indeed, adopting the yellow mask. Oh, unfortunately, Rich's activation there was a little bit off-center. Mm. 
Glee starting to make that boomerang work for him. We're definitely seeing Glee um, using more boomerang as the lead arm and the toaster probably much more as a reactive arm, as a response arm. Yeah, see, so trying to use that toaster to catch the landing. And oh my god, he's just snagged the life lead in the last three seconds, too. Rich has not got time to actually make anything happen. Glee managed to turn that around in the very last seconds of the match. I wasn't even fully aware of how the health was going, but that one slight tweak to his game plan, just swapping which arm he was leading with, was able to bring it in. Seeing Rich adopt that blue mask, maybe he's going to try and focus a lot more on his movement. To be fair, if even giving him a slightly longer dash could be enough to help him avoid those boomerangs sneaking their way in. Oh, very good curving on the scully there. Like that slight little dash and then the curve of the scully to meet what Gleeface assumed would have been dashing to safety. Gleeface is now just putting himself in harm's way thanks to Rich's adaption. Rich is just reading these left dashes beautifully. But Glee still has a massive life lead over Rich, but Rich now has Flurry and is indeed able to kind of capitalise on Glee's aggression although Glee now has his own flurry and this could close the match out but Glee is and the over ambition of Glee just put him in the slight wrong place on that activation which meant Rich was able to cheekily take that Let's swap to Rich for this final round of this game, which could be the final match of the tournament. Rich is on tournament point right now. Glee needs to win this if he hopes to reset this grand final. And with Glee stuck in that trench, Rich is now just putting some superb pressure on him. And that flurry as well. Rich, Rich is looking to not only win this tournament, but make the final round the best yet. Beautiful grab. Glee now one mistake away from losing. Saves face slightly with that flurry. But can he do enough? I just realised he has swapped a double toaster which was maybe a foolish decision considering how much the boomerang helped him out in this round so far. Last pixel of health for Glee. Rich just needs Rich just needs to have a cool head and to look for one peck with that scully. That's all he needs. Glee needs everything right now. And there it is. The scully works its magic, finds its way in between those toasters, and Rich will take this tournament. <laughs> There we go. That was fun. Well, I thought it was fun. Congratulations to Rich. GG's. G -g 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 the keys go to Rich. Yeah. Good stuff. Well done, Glee. That was really well fought in the end as well. That was brilliant. What a brilliant, brilliant final. And yeah, thanks everyone for sticking around and watching. That was fun. It was a it was a fun tournament. Lindsay says it was rigged. It wasn't rigged. <laughs>